Hello everybody and welcome to another bootleg review. Finally getting a chance to take a look at the AI mech, aka Black Mamba. Devouring Heart the Devil or Devouring the Heart Devil or Devouring the Devil Heart. Hmm. Uh, this is of course the oversized version of MPM Megatron, apparently the definitive version. Of course we have already had a regular size repaint done by Honey Badger. We've had the oversized version done by Wei Zhang and apparently this is the even greater, larger oversized version by A. Oi Mech. Uh, this is a pre-production sample uh, that was sent to TF Direct, uh, hence all the big dents in the front of the box. And he wasn't alone. I also got the pre-production sample of their Jazz, which is the same size as the normal MPM Jazz, which is very interesting, and man, that is gorgeous. But that is for another time. This is a Megatron. Oh, holy guacamole, Batman. This is a giant of a figure. Uh, first of all, we do get the separate baggie, which is stored underneath, which houses his kind of rifle arm. Uh, this thing is ridiculously large. I mean, like crazy, crazy, crazy big. Okay, let's just pop that back in and close that off but you get an idea of the paint as well i mean that is gorgeous really nicely done and we get two of the whips again absolutely massive very kind of flexible and rigid but exceptionally well done uh, i assume that these can be yes they can these can be joined together so we've got double the length or of course they can be used as two separate whip pieces really really interesting very nicely done oh he is glorious what a fantastic paint job probably one of the better paint jobs that black mamba have done and the ratchets and joints on megatron in general are sublime i'm gonna go straight in there with the scale comparison look at that uh, Megatron from Wei Zhang, I would say the head, tip of the head comes up to roughly Megatron's chin, but it's just a sheer bulk of this version which really makes the difference. Uh, and I like uh, that we could obviously extend the Lack Mamba other rusty Megatron, uh, still one of my favorite repaints of all time, looks sensational. Uh, this guy could be him. Uh, you know that's that's the whole aim that that he's going to become him and then eventually we get a nice dark of the moon done like these as well but these look amazing and just to give you an idea of how they scale compared to the original scale that is honey badger megatron i haven't got the official megatron uh, to hand he's actually in a box ready in my sale pile uh, that's how much i love these additional versions, uh, as much as I love the official, uh, these are incredible. And of course, for you scale junkies out there, uh, we have the Wei Zhang, Optimus Prime there. And over on this side, we have the Black Mamba, albeit it is their Dark of the Moon version with his sexy abs on show. Oh, I personally, personally feel that Wei Zhang Prime probably is the closest we're going to get to the correct scale with Megatron, but uh, I'm guessing that maybe Prime gained in it a couple of inches or so when he got all of his upgrades for Dark of the Moon, but uh, I mean that's, that's pretty darn accurate to scale top of the kind of Matrix section. Oh, Megatron, that scales pretty much tip to toe with Prime's head. And just because I had them to hand, here's the oversized version of Ironhide. Again, love how that scales and uh, what's left of the original Jazz. <laughs> I, mean, I could suppose I could have his like, legs wandering around here somewhere as well. Uh, I think that's a good scale. Jazz was one of the smallest. In comparison, uh, the Megatron was massive, uh, especially in the first movie. 
I think that works. Uh, let's get up close and personal, checking out all of that gorgeous detailing. I really have gone to town with these paint apps. Nice, solid joints and everything. Head plugs in nicely, chin moves, lots of nice range on the head without the fear of it popping off that joint. We do still have that button on the back, which if we press that in, here we go, we get the red eyes of Megatron. We've got some nice Cybertronian font on the side there. The shoulders are amazing. Listen to this, ready? So many ratchets. Now this section here comes up, but I have a defect with this product sample. I believe in the packaging, this has been pushed down really hard and there's a lot of solid plastic here. This piece here is broken. You see that there's a crack along that joint on the arm. Uh, I mean, it doesn't actually move. It is literally where this shoulder joint has been pushed all the way down. So that's definitely a big weak point and so much so that it actually snapped off completely on this side. That just sheared off. So that's something to definitely bear in mind. I mean, I don't know why it must. They must have really pushed these down, uh, the previous reviewer. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, we've still got a nice, gorgeous bend on those arms. We've got these fingers, which can be fully articulated. Uh, there's rotation on those as well. Same can be said with this arm. We get that rotation on the waist. Legs, really strong ratchets out to the side. Lots of motion on here to allow for that crazy good ratchet there. And then we've got a really big, thick, industrial strength knee joint. And we've got die cast down here on these feet with that pivot there and up and down on the toes and up and down on the heels. The toes themselves are solid die cast. Such a shame about those small parts on the arms. I mean, with this down, you wouldn't see them at all on this side. A break, unfortunately, is a break, isn't it? Uh, this backpack section doesn't quite tab in as much as I would like as well. But the paint apps are very, very impressive where we do still have the ability to remove this chest piece. Let's just untab, untab. We do still get the all spark in there and we do still get the uh, ability to push this solid die cast lump of a chest piece out. So it looks like that, so Sam can whack the cube into his chest, but this is just a big, huge chunk of metal which slides in there. Aesthetically, he is by far the superior, in my opinion. Love the Cybertronian text scattered over him. Ratchet joints are sublime. He looks the part, feels the part, but he's also fell apart. And let's take a look at these hands. I, of course, can just untap. Does anybody else have problems with the Wei Zhang version of these hands? Mine kind of get really stuck and then they just get really loose. Doesn't appear to be kind of uh, medium. Now we can put the whip panel in like so. And let's then bring this piece all the way up like that uh, you know I, I kind of like it love that it kind of they've changed this up and obviously we can extend this further by lifting this up and then bringing the gun out as well oh nearly 
That is just enough flex to be able to bring that whip all the way across. Uh, obviously, we don't have to have the gun on the end there. This can just untap. We can bring his hand back in as well. So he's using his hand claw as a projectile. And we can, of course, do this with both hands. We can slide that in. And pop that into here. Uh, yes, he looks a little bit grabby there, but he looks terrifying. With those big, long, extended arms. Absolutely horrendous. You can imagine him kind of dragging those behind him and then whipping them up. Uh, excellent. And here we have him with his gun, hand on. Of course, he's still got that dropped down claw. Uh, both hands can come around to the front and join on to get that double cannon look, but... I'm going to have him with both his claws on, and uh, he does look exceptional. And can I just uh, draw attention to the strength of his joints there? That is the relatively pretty heavy Black Mamba Optimus Prime there, and he is standing slightly wider than normal as well. Everything holds together exceptionally well, apart from my tripod apparently, because it's very jumpy. I mean, he is a gorgeous looking piece, isn't he? Uh, I'm not going to go through the transformation with you all. It's exactly the same as all of the others. Uh, I'm going to skip through. If you do really want to watch the transformation, I'll include a link up in the information bar, uh, which takes you through to an alternative version of this Megatron with the same transformation. Uh, See so if there's any issues that I encounter throughout the transformation, and if anything else breaks off, <laughs> I will of course let you all know. Uh, but for now, uh, this is Megatron. Uh, let's get him transformed. Right, here we have him fully transformed up. And yeah, that uh, those joints did indeed break in the end. Uh, not really surprising, is it? And uh, <laughs> to my woes, uh, I've realised there's a small break on top of his... Uh, cat piece there as well. Uh, either there's a small break or it's just missing. I'll have to go back through my old footage and see. Which is quite annoying. Uh, maybe that was what was rattling around in the packaging. But uh, as gorgeous as this one looks, uh, these floors are uh, putting me off a little bit. Um, I mean, I know this is pre-production, but these are pretty much Final. I mean, there's not going to be any change in these, really. What you see is what you get. Uh, this doesn't quite peg in on the legs. I'll have to adjust those slightly, I think. Uh, the arms still hook into the chest area, which is fine. Uh, this piece here, where it bends back down onto itself, that was incredibly difficult to peg in. And, of course, I haven't uh, pegged in the accessories here either but uh, all in all I mean this looks the part but I don't think any of the pieces have been tested prior to being sent out I mean this is meant to have been somebody else first uh, which which is fair enough but uh, it doesn't feel like it's been to anybody else uh, the joints just feel too stiff and the joins where they all clip in it's just nigh on impossible. Now, bearing in mind, uh, Jazz is the same size as the original. That's what we're looking at. This is an immense structure. Uh, it's just a shame about those defects. I uh, didn't have any of those problems with the Wei Zhang version. Uh, and again, I believe that was slightly ahead of time. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm not being overly heavy-handed with these. I broke Bumblebee. Uh, maybe I was a little bit overhanded, heavy-handed with Bumblebee uh, in the last video. Uh, I didn't realize that that was going to be as fragile around those ankles as it was. Completely my bad. This, on the other hand, I have tiptoed my way around just in case. And it's still uh, just... I think it's forcing some of those joints. You may have like a finger or a thumb or something somewhere else where it shouldn't be and you're then placing added pressure onto different areas. But all in all, it's an amazing looking piece. 
and it's by far the best in terms of articulation, uh, strength in those joints, and overall scale. But you have to be so, so careful of those fragile areas. Now, remember the ones that I particularly uh, terrified of were these sections here, where they've obviously been forced in and they've now been removed and broken off. And apparently the tip of Megatron's head as well. So just bear that in mind. Thanks again to TF Direct for getting this out to me, faults and all. I will include a link in the description below where you can pre-order your final version of this mold, uh, hopefully minus those defects. Uh, out of all of them, I still rate this one the highest just because I'm a scale junkie and I love the attention to detail that Black Mamba have done. But I don't think, if you buy your Wei Jiang version, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And if you like the smaller versions, uh, then I still say Honey Badger is probably the best in that department. Uh, I will review Jazz uh, pretty soonish. Uh, he's on my to-do list, a gorgeous solid piece. I mean, the color on this is phenomenal. And uh, just because, let's include a link for Jazz uh, to purchase in the description as well. Until next time, for myself and Megatron, uh, goodbye.